What's racking guys? Welcome to another player growth test. Of course, I'll be taking a look at Carlos Tevez here. The 31-year-old striker starts at 86 overall. I questioned him a few times. Uh, and, you know, we're going to be taking a look to see if he grows as well as, of course, uh, when he retires as well as some of these older players. Age 31. Uh, so he's a bit up there in age. But, of course, strikers have a tendency to retire a bit later in their careers. Um, so we'll see what happens with him. Uh, some great stats from the start, of course. I would probably, I would honestly recommend buying him, you know, once he He's available because as you can see he goes up to an 88 overall age 32 um, physical stats went up ball control dribbling long shots curve shot power volleys and crossing so that's some great growth um, plus two um, of course and even seeing physical growth age 32 it's, it's weird uh, but you know I'll, I'll take it he did drop a little bit after that physically but he grew with the ball control dribbling long shot shot power curve and volleys again and crossing uh, I've noticed you know that's kind of where the growth is focused for a lot of these players it seems like um, in these growth test with these older players um, as you can see grows up to an 89 overall now age 34 don't know what he grew in exactly but uh, either way you know he's looking tremendous plus three for a 31 year old striker after three years is pretty you know incredible of course his potential isn't any higher than his overall listed on Sofiva so uh, it's interesting to see but uh, of course there are a bit of factors to it I did drop Lewandowski and Muller from the squad so that way Tevez which is starting the whole way he gets tons of games plays a lot was in excellent form but he's also playing against high competition so you don't have exactly the effect that it may have you know when I'm using uh, putting them on you know like Irish teams and my other growth tests we can see him dropping now to 88 overall now age 36 finally dropping uh, physically uh, mentally, technically, uh, and it's really not big of a of a drop, anyways. And um, now you see him dropping again due to some physical and mental uh, stats dropping. So even then, he's still a great striker. Of course, he's basically dropping back to where he was before, because of course he had physical growth, um, be, uh, a few bumps physically. So he's just dropping now a little bit from his you know original area, and he still has the specialties that he had at the beginning uh, as well. So it's tremendous either way. Finally, here age thir age thirty. 38 or 87 overall tons of drops physically mentally um, but still grew slightly technically long shot shot power volleys curve again just seemed to be the kind of focused growth for some of these older players um, which is interesting I'm not sure exactly why that is but uh, just seems to be something that may be programmed into the game regardless but uh, he finally is deciding to retire here uh, which is interesting you know he probably could keep on going. Of course I had Ibrahimovic uh, he didn't retire until he was age 40 and Tevez you know, is in much better shape than he was. Ibrahimovic lost all his pace, basically. Still had a bit of his strength, but Tevez still has, uh, you know, a good amount of his pace left, as well as his mental and technical stats at a very high level. Uh, as you can see, all the specialties, he still has them before he retires, which is pretty cool to see. Um, but uh, with that, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this. Of course, leave some other suggestions for players below. With that, uh, I'll catch you guys later. I love you.